if you're finding it difficult to move on from any relationship be it of friendship of a partner then this video is for you hi all you beautiful souls this is rishvika and welcome to minding ways Now the very first thing you need to do is be honest with yourself. Most of the times what happens is we are not honest with ourselves. We superficially think that okay we want to move on and I have had enough of it. But deep down we are still wanting to be in that relationship to not move on. So the very first thing you need to do is be honest with yourself. Be true to yourself. That is it time is it really time that you want to move on that you've had enough ask yourself is it that time that i have had enough of it and now is the time to finally keep myself on the priority is it the time that i really want to move on if your answer is yes well say that out loud to yourself because most of the times what happens is we try to escape from our emotions we think that moving on means neglecting our emotions ignoring them and focus on other things yes it is a good way to focus on new things focus on yourself but that doesn't mean that you have to ignore yourself ignore your hurt ignore your pain the last thing you want to do is escape from yourself escape from your emotions so you have to have a talk with yourself that is it really time that i have to take charge of my life is it really that you know how the situations were because of which the relationship ended so do you think those situations are a priority than you do you think those situations that relationship that mess that broken mess is a priority than your happiness so when you are clear about the priorities what do you want from life what do you want from that relationship if it's not working then do you really want to move on are you putting yourself on the priority so when you are clear with all those priorities you are not escaping yourself you are in full integrity with yourself you are comfortable with yourself and when you are comfortable with yourself you love yourself and again when you love yourself you don't feel that desperation to be in a relationship which is hampering your peace which is hampering your happiness now the next thing is change the way you are thinking for example if you're thinking that maybe i wasn't good enough for that person think we both were not compatible for each other and also try to look into the problem try, uh, try to look into the situation try to look on the matter what went wrong or what is that thing that is causing you pain is it the fear is it that insecurity that maybe you will not have that wonderful relationship again what is it that's hurting you is it that relationship is it that person or your fear your insecurities because most of the time what happens is it is your fear your insecurities sometimes you are not comfortable with ourselves after you know being attached to a certain person when we are suddenly left all by ourselves we forget that okay we had to take care of ourselves we have to love ourselves but all this time we've been ignoring ourselves so think what is it that's making you uncomfortable that's making you want to go back into that relationship is it your fears insecurities because only when you know the true root cause of the pain only then you can heal it we think that okay this relationship ended or things are not going well and that's hurting me but have you ever really pondered about it what is it really that's hurting you what is that root cause of your hurt so once you know the root cause of your pain once you know what's really hurting you what's really causing you pain you will know how to heal it because you know that particular root of your pain then you will know how to heal it how to heal that wound so once you know the fears the insecurities the real root cause of your pain you can truly work on that you can truly move on because you know the direction how i have to move on where i have to work it is normal to get hurt to feel pain to feel sad that's the beauty of being alive you will feel pain you will feel hurt but that's okay that's just a matter of time don't ignore it if you don't ignore your happiness then why to ignore that sadness why to ignore that pain now i know the method that i am telling will take some time for you to move on but trust me it will be worth it you will not just move on you will not just heal from that pain but you will also grow 
and this will leave no scar of that wound that may bother you in future. So that was it for today's video. I hope I was of some help to you guys. If you like the video, do share it with your friends and family because who knows, it may really be beneficial for someone. If you're new here, welcome to our YouTube family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy.